What is up everybody, this is Clutch, welcome back to the channel. Today, I will be showing you guys how to use the SG551 in Critical Ops. The SG is the most expensive T-side assault rifle in the game, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to properly use the SG tailored to your playstyle. Plus, we will also be checking out all the gun stats and this will include recoil patterns, crouched and uncrouched, rate of fire, reload speed, starting ammo, damage outputs, shots to kill, and how and when to use. And of course I have some drills in this video that you can use to increase your accuracy with the SG and recoil control. So make sure to drop a like if you want to see more helpful content like this, and definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. And again, if you want more tips and tricks, you're definitely going to want to check out my channel because I have a ton of videos that are going to help you improve your game and help you achieve a high rank. Watch the entire video so you don't miss any important information because we are going over quite a bit in this video. And without further ado, let's jump on in. First, we will be taking a look at the recoil patterns. The recoil goes straight up, off to the left, off to the right, comes back to the middle, and ends right there. Again, that's if you empty an entire magazine. And I have found that crouching does not help this gun very much, like you legit can control the recoil standing up, it's about the same. The only difference is towards the end of the, the magazine, I noticed that the final few rounds do start swaying more. So if you are missing like the entire magazine, definitely crouch on the final ones to get more accuracy. The rate of fire is 622 rounds per minute. The starting ammo is 120 rounds with 30 preloaded into the weapon and 30 rounds per mag. And the reload is about 3 seconds. The damage output for the SG551 is 121 for the headshot, 44 for the upper body shot, 50 for the lower body shot, and 38 for the arms and legs. The shots to kill with the SG551 are 1 shot to the head, 3 shots to the upper body, 2 shots with Kevlar off, and 3 shots with Kevlar on for the lower body, and 3 shots to the arms and legs. Accompanied with its fast fire rate, this weapon hits hard. Now we will be taking a look at three playstyles with the SG, and I want you to choose which playstyle that suits you the best. I'll be listing three tips for that playstyle, and here we go. Number one, we have the camper. Keys for the camper are recoil control. You're going to be posted up on some long angles. You need to practice that recoil control. Reaction speed. Super easy way to practice this is just sweat and TDM. And another really good one actually is one taps. One taps can really help you out if you are camping. Practicing this a lot increases your overall accuracy, helps you with trigger discipline, and overall it's just a really good thing to be good at. Next we have the aggro. Keys for the aggro are recoil control. Obviously you want to be the one spraying and not the one praying. Flicks are also very important for the aggro, as you are pushing into enemy territory. Being able to flick to the heads of a camper are very important, especially you're going to encounter a lot of campers as the aggro. Number three, we have pro movement. Movement might be the most important as the aggro. If you don't have good movement as an aggressive player, basically you can throw everything out the window because movement is key for the aggro to be unsuspecting and to have good strafe movement and be able to stop and go on a dime is really, really important. Next we have the supporter and keys for the supporter are game sense. A super easy way to practice your game sense is just play the game a lot, play against good players, and slowly but surely your game sense will improve. Number two is be unpredictable. Unpredictability is a skill and it can be practiced simply by playing the game a lot just like game sense but combining the two you have a recipe for success. Number three we have great all around aim. Your aim's got to be crisp, clean, and the supporter role has some big shoes to fill simply because you're thinking the game and you're highly skilled. You're definitely going to want to devote a lot of time to this role. Now for the how to use segment. I would definitely pick this gun over the AK-47 if I was going to rush. Obviously I'm not including SMGs or shotguns, I mean just the assault rifle class. This is probably the best rushing assault rifle simply because you do not have to crouch to control the recoil well. With its fast fire rate and high damage, I don't think you can really beat this gun in the assault rifle class for uh, rushing in there and just dominating the opposing team. The AK is still great, don't get me wrong, but just for rushing, 
the SG definitely wins in that category. And now for the accuracy in recoil drills. Recoil control drill. This is a great way to practice all your recoil control all in one place. Simply go to CT Spawn on Bureau and what you're going to do is pick your gun of choice and we're going to be using this sign right here in CT Spawn. And we're simply going to shoot this target and try to keep all of our ammo and all of our rounds simply in the circle. This may seem pretty easy at first as you start off close, but as you take more steps back, it's going to get noticeably more difficult. And what you're going to do is empty the entire mag and try to keep it in the circle. A really good drill for all those high kick guns or even mastering guns that you already are pretty good at. One of my favorite drills and pretty much the only drill you'll ever need for recoil control. Flicks practice drill. You're going to go to Bureau and what you're going to do is find these portraits at B Long and you're simply going to shoot one target and move on to the next, come back to one target and go back to the next. You can combo this drill in any way possible. Make sure to stand in the middle by the way. But as you can see, you can just go through the line. You could go first to second, first to third, first to fourth. I like that drill quite a bit until you make it all the way down the line. You can also just skip one target. Another great way to practice this is skip one, skip two, skip three, skip four. This drill is meant to be customized, so definitely practice something that you need to get better at. You can do so many different combos, go first to fifth, and you know, so on and so forth. There's so many different combinations you can do to practice. You can practice big flicks, small flicks, it's up to you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, hit that subscribe button, join the hashtag Clutch Quad, drop a like on this video if it did help you out. And again, if you want more tips and tricks, you're definitely going to want to check out my channel because I have a ton of videos that are going to help you improve your game and of course, get that rank nice and high. But that's all the time I have for you today. Hopefully you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.